Okay, this is the Electric Universe, and um, this is from their, their um, it's called No Dark Matter. Again, the EU is ahead of the curve, space news. Now, here's the problem I see with all of cosmology. They just don't understand that everything out there is just completely packed with electrons. Those electrons are light. They are flowing through our universe in every different direction. They just don't interact with each other so you don't see them. However, as matter begins to coalesce, it spins. And as it spins, you can see it starts to throw its stuff out and then it starts scrubbing against what's around it. And then it folds these arms back. <laughs> it folds them in. And then you start to compress your your system, whether it's a solar system, whether it's a galaxy, that is how these things twist back on themselves and form and crush into galaxies. All right, just give it a little thought. This is spinning, okay? Galaxies spin, light spins, it just seems to be the nature of, of energetic reactions that they spin. Now, the system is spinning. Now, why are these things folding back that way? Well, obviously, they're crashing into something. There's something here that they're hitting. Those arms are folding in. As they keep keep folding in, they will keep compressing more and more. It will, that's just, <laughs> excuse me, the nature of what's going to happen here. It's going to twist and twist and twist, just like pulling a, a, a ratchet. Now, the, the systems that are within this are also reacting exactly the same as its parent, which is the galaxy. The solar systems react identically to the galaxy. And our solar system is being impinged on by the particles that are in space. Our Earth has collected more particles than it can handle. And they are free electrons. There's so many extra free, free electrons. And a free electron takes up a huge space where a, a captured electron, there's billions and trillions of them in a tiny space. Free electrons, they, they are heat. Those are what co are called heat. They're light. They're electricity. That's what they are. And there are so many of them crushing into our system right now that we are overheated. And, and, and they cannot leave the way they come. They do not go away the way they come. They are attracted. They come. They start to collect on the earth. They build into the water, into the soils, into the buildings, into the cars, into every single thing there is on the earth. And what electrons do is they move to where they're most wanted and where they're most wanted is where they don't have a lot of extra ones and that's cold. Heat means you've got a lot of extra electrons. Cold means you want electrons because you don't have enough or, or you have less than somebody else does. The one that has more will move to the one that has less. Simple as that. We are scrubbing through space. This is dark matter and dark energy out here, which is nothing more than light. And it's the light that came off of all these luminous bodies and all the other luminous bodies in space. There you have it. Okay, and you say, Roger, how can you be so sure of these things that you say? And I say, well, I'll just take a look at the evidence. I'm saying we are, we are careening through voluminous amounts of particles that are pushing against us. We are all negative particles, negative to negative. There is nothing, nothing that does not have negative particles on its surface. Every single thing there is, is a molecule and it has electrons surrounding all of that molecule. Every single bit of it. So as that molecules that we are part of goes through space, 
it pushes against the light particles that are not complete particles. They are only the electrons, and they push back like hell. And that is what we are scrubbing through right now. And to prove it, it's absolutely the most simple thing anybody could do. Let's take a look at the atmosphere layers and their temperatures. Down around the Earth, you know it's like 80, 90 degrees, whatever it is. All right, as you go up, you go up to the troposphere, 4 to 12 miles out there. And it contains half of Earth's atmosphere. The air is warmer near the ground. It gets colder higher up. Well, obviously it gets cold as it goes up. Well, guess what? You get into the stratosphere. It starts above the troposphere, ends about 31 miles above the ground. Ozone is abundant here, and it heats the atmosphere while also absorbing harmful radiation from the sun. The air here is very dry and is about a thousand times thinner as, than it is at sea level. Right, it's very thin up there, but guess what? You get to the mesosphere at 31 miles out, the top of the mesosphere, mesopause, the coldest part of Earth's atmosphere. Well, obviously it's the coldest part because it's way out there. But then you get into the thermosphere, and that's 56 miles out, and that the temperatures get up to 2,700 degrees. 2,700 degrees. Why? Just figured out how could anybody miss this? I am absolutely astounded by what is missed. Obviously something scrubbing out there. I guess that's going to be my last word because I got a lot of words, but I'm not going to say them. <laughs> and everything else is dismissed as well. All my mud fossil stuff, this is really annoys the hell out of me because I have DNA proof of giant human beings. I have all kinds of things that destroy everything that they're saying in science. Not a single one of them will speak. It's disgraceful, really.